gonna, what I'm going to talk about today is is uh, is putting, and uh, that's the most simplistic version of it. I, I do I can I can talk about putting for two hours because I I love the, all the nuances and in it. But this is going to be very simple. And what I, well, the first thing I talk about when I talk about putting is the two D's. So remember this. You can write it down. Remember this part, and it's distance and direction. This actually applies to any golf shot, but for putting, it's 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 the most uh, important, and that's. Uh, distance and direction. If we can get our distance right to the hole and our direction right to the hole, the ball should plop in, right? <laughs> Oversimplification, <laughs> but sometimes with golf, it's so complicated. Everything's complicated, all, all these moves. When you try to break it down the lowest common denominator and, and try to simplify it, sometimes it works out for the brain. It makes the brain think a little bit less. Think a little bit less. So for here, I have three different ways to, to go about getting your your your. Uh, direction right in a drill. This one is a little mirror here that uh, you can see your shoulder alignment. It's got lines on it. You put the ball on it and now you can practice your direction and get make sure your alignment's good. Your feet, your shoulders, and then the golf club alignment aid on the golf club too. You have a little a little line there. How many people look at that alignment aid on the golf club when they put when they get ready to putt to make sure it's lined up? Does anybody look at it? Who doesn't? Or who is not consistent? Me. Yeah. <laughs> now, another little tip without, you don't even need all these aids to do this on the golf course is the rules of golf let us what, cheat. We can use an alignment aid on the golf course, and it's the ball. All the balls now, you see they have a little line on them. All the new balls, they have little lines on them. You can draw a line on them, and you get that line going to where you want to go, and then you line up your alignment aid to it, and you should be in the right direction. Yeah, this is a pretty straight putt, curves a little bit. There's break and things. We could talk about that another time in more detail if you, if you want to come back. But, um, but for the basic putt, that's, that's all you need. What we're trying to do is not three putt, right? And, and, and these putts you want to try to make, you know, give yourself a chance, right? So this is going to be the most complicated version of it. The second version is going to be with uh, yardsticks. You can put one on a yardstick, this yardstick, if you keep the ball on the yardstick, that means you hit it square. And if it rolls off the yardstick and you have the right line, it should go in the hole. If you, if you want to start out with training reels, you can go and put two yardsticks together and get the ball right in the middle of the yardstick and just try to keep the club within that. If you don't have yardsticks, you just go in your bag and grab some tees. I do this a lot with the kids, the juniors. Put some tees in and we're trying to keep our putter within those tees and we should be okay. Just make sure that when you put those tees in, you come back here and check because I always get all crooked when I put them in at first. So I'm gonna go through the direction stuff. Keep in mind, this one here, I put the, the, the ball alignment on it too. And I'm gonna make sure my alignment on the, the putter is okay. And then I'm just gonna go through each one and see, see if we can get it lined up. Yeah. I missed that one every single time last time. I missed. I made that one every single time last time. <laughs> so that's the putting. Uh, if you do that, if you go through those those motions, it's going to help you. And the biggest thing I think is when you're on the golf course, get that get that line on the putter and get the line on the ball. Get that lined up and take a look at it and make sure you're putting that line on the putter right through the ball. And you're gonna make more putts. Especially those four or five footers for par, and you're gonna make those, more of those putts. So now on the distance piece, when we get in this direction, this, this length away, we're a little worried about the three putt, possibly. So here I got a great little easy way to do this. Grab a few balls, put the putter down, and just get set up and get in your stance. And now make sure your shoulders are rocking and just roll balls up the hole. Just roll them up there. And that's going to give you a feel of how much arm swing you're going to need to roll that ball up there. Okay? It's a great little way to kind of get that feel, get that looseness. We're so worried about the perfect putting strokes that sometimes we just don't let that putter flow. So it's very good. And you see I put a ring in there. Picture a little ring when you're putting. Just get it in that ring. You know. When it comes to distance, the, you know, our, our distance trumps our direction. So we want good direction. I had this ball lined, well, I had it lined up 
before, but it's all messed up now. But we, uh, if we get, get our distance right, even if we're off a little bit left or right, we're going to be right there in the ring and have, it, have it, uh, an easy putt. So I'm going to get this line going here. So get the line going. Looks pretty, pretty good. And something that's good to do as well is I have that feel, that arm swinging. Now take a look at the hole when you do a practice stroke and just look at the hole the whole way through. That's going to give you an idea if that's enough stroke. So if I were to do this, if I'm looking down, I do this stroke, I go, oh, that looks pretty good. But if I was looking at the hole and I did that stroke, I go, oh, my, my eyes immediately tell me there's no way it's going to get there. It's sort of like if you, you and I were going to have a catch, Joyce. If I was going to have a catch, am I going to look at the ball when I throw it to you? Or am I going to look at you? I'm going to look at you guys. Oh, two Joyce's next to each other. <laughs> so I'm going to look at you, right? Now, when we're putting, the ball's not attached to our body. So when you make the actual stroke at the hole, you're going to want to look at the hole, or look at the ball. But there's no reason why you can't take a practice stroke beforehand and now try to duplicate that stroke and get it in the... Oh! So it's in the ring, so now I have an easy two putt. You know, just a knock in two putt. All right, it's a gimme. So some, some uh, tools here to take home with you. I mean, this is, I mean, simple as that.